Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to NASSAC channel, a YouTube channel focused on cybersecurity practice in my daily IT life. Today, I'm going to show how to use Angibo to run some command in remote server. Angibo is an open source, push-based configuration management, development, and automation tool. It can automate your entire IT infrastructure environment by providing large productivity gains. It's a simple to install and deploy. The most important thing I like is agent list. So let's start it. This is my lab environment. I'm gonna have a one Angibo server and also I have Angibo client. So I'm gonna install Angibo to my Angibo server and then remotely run some command on my Angibo client machine. This is my cloud machine Angibo server. We have logged in as root user. Now we have to install the Angibo into this CentOS machine. The command is simple, yum install angible-y completed. So in the next step, we're gonna configure the client machine in the Angible server. Here are all examples pre-configured in the uh, Angible host file. So what we can do is uh, we're gonna add it our own host in, into this file. This is my machine. Let me put it into host file. We're going to log in to this machine, use root user. We're going to tell the port number. 22 we're gonna put clear text password here to log in so this is the first server I'm gonna manage by NGPO server you can add it more so right now we are using username and password to log in. The best practice, of course, you're going to use in SSH key file to log in. Uh, that will be my next step. So right now we are using username and password. In the future, we're going to use in uh, private key file to do login. Um, before we do next step, we're going to test in from your Angibo server testing to log in to remote manage the ser uh, server. So it's root account and then password. It works. The host name is Angibo dash client one. By default, 
Ansible is not using password to manage the remote client. So we have to enable that. So host key checking has been commented out. We're going to change that, enable it. Save the configuration. OK, let's review our configuration again. First thing, we need to add the host file to add the client into this host file. The client is going to be managed by Ansible server. So we added the uh, 34.6673.52 in here. Second, we changed our Ansible CFG file, configuration file, to enable the password management. Host key checking is false. So we are not checking the host key. Now let's run our first command. We're going to run a ping command from remote and see the result. Ansible client shell a Now we got the response coming back. And it was successful. It shows change it. That means um, the command has made some changes on a remote. So we were able to pin. We were able to get the result coming back. We can try to do something differently. Pin different host. We can also to trace to remote. You see it's failed. Trace out command is not in there, it's tracered. Chaser command is not there yet. We don't have this command there. We can install chaser out command through remote server. So let's do Ansible client share yum install chase out. Let's see what we can get from here. Okay, so yum, it's suggesting we use in yum module rather than using directly using run command, but we were able to install trace route. So now let's try trace route again. Ah, this we don't have to using that command. If we do it from local, So that's how you can run the command remotely using the Ansible. Um, if you have multiple commands, you can write them into a script and then run that script to remote. Okay, let's write the script. First, um, so vi
So it's three commands in there, two echoes, one pin. Maybe we can put up one more command. Okay, we have script one dot sh file created. Now we're gonna use a script module. Ansible has different module. So one module we got the notification is yum module. We can use in yum module to install um, the package on a remote server, and we also can use script module to run some script. Let's try to do that. Ansible and module script. So we're gonna run Ansible to all hosts using this script. Okay, so uh, remote server 3466.73.52. Hello world, net sec, pin, then we see the result pin result and then chase route result perfect that's our first video about the uh, nzipo um hope you enjoyed it so today we showed you how to run some command and script to remote server <laughs>